the Newcastle United facing something of a farcical situation going into their game against Wolves. We already know that uh, Sandro Tonali is facing a 10-month ban, uh, which was confirmed. Uh, it wasn't speculation, it was confirmed by the Italian Football Federation yesterday, who released a statement which was distributed to the Italian media first, and then obviously uh, picked up in this country. Now, for Eddie Howe, this has been rumbling on now for a good two or three weeks, and we still aren't any closer to, to knowing exactly when Tonali, uh, his suspension will start. As far as he was concerned today's press conference, uh, Tonali is available to play at Wolves. Um, he's going to be travelling on the team bus, uh, which leaves at 2pm. And there is, uh, in Eddie Howe's own words, a high chance that Tonali could play again against Wolverhampton Wanderers this weekend uh, on the back of you know playing against Crystal Palace. Uh, and Dortmund in the Champions League. Now, this is probably a good thing for Newcastle, given the injury situation they've got, uh, with Jacob Murphy uh, currently injured with a dislocated shoulder, Isaac picking up an injury the other day as well, and Elliot Anderson now with a back injury uh, on top of uh, Sean Longstaff struggling with an illness. So, for Newcastle, they need all the players you can get at the minute, and Tenali is a player who could be used at Molyneux uh, this weekend uh, unless something dramatic happens. What has to happen now really is the Italian authorities have got to go to FIFA and FIFA then have to ratify the ban and then it has to be pushed through. Will that happen over the weekend? You wouldn't have thought it would but you never know. Uh, for Newcastle though they have to pl plough on and, and and plan accordingly and you know get Tenali in a place where if he is needed to play he's ready. So it's a farcical situation for Newcastle um, not one uh, they would have welcomed going into this important game at Wolves, an important week as well with you know Carabao Cup action around the corner, especially on the back of that game against Dortmund. Uh, other news from the press conference today, Eddie Howe talking about Alexander Isaac is going to have a scan after he went off injured uh, against Dortmund with a groin injury. Uh, that'll be determined today uh, how long he will miss, uh, but it doesn't seem as bad as, as first feared. Same with Murphy, he's uh, deciding whether you know he's going to need an operation or whether he can somehow battle on. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But the big one was Elliot Anderson being out for eight weeks uh, with a back injury, just this shock injury that just emerged before the Dortmund game. And Newcastle really know that Anderson was the player that would have potentially have stepped in with Tenali injured. Uh, he would have got a lot of game time because of that situation. He's now going to be. Uh, missing until the end of December, which is a huge blow for him and a huge blow for Newcastle United. So, disappointment on that front. This game against Wolves is a big uh, encounter for Newcastle because they need to obviously stay in touch with those European places. They've got to dust themselves down after that defeat against Dortmund and remember that really this game um, can extend their unbeaten run in the Premier League, which they haven't lost since uh, the Brighton game back in August. So, it's one where Newcastle must push on and uh, look to forget Dortmund and re-establish themselves in the Premier League.